number of people with connections to Hawaii in Las Vegas this past weekend. One Hawaii resident we spoke with was at the concert and ran from the gunfire into a nearby hotel. Others were performing at another outdoor concert venue just miles from where the shooting took place. Alexander Zanes joins us with more. Alexander. Yeah, Joe, I spoke with a musician who performed at the Pure Aloha Festival, which took place just a few miles down the road from last night's tragic event. He tells me when he and his friends were first told what was happening, they were in disbelief. From the moment 64-year-old Stephen Paddock opened fire on thousands of innocent people Sunday night, people around Las Vegas started hearing rumors of what was happening. UFC Hall of Famer Frank Trigg, who lives in Hawaii but was visiting Las Vegas this weekend, says he made a last-minute decision not to attend Sunday's concert. We hang out, and all of a sudden, everybody starts confirming it. It's confirmed. There is an active shooter at Mandalay Bay, which is up the strip. At the concert, all of a sudden, at, at Harvest 91, you're like, whoa, whoa, we're supposed to be there. Like, there's a shooter there. Like, and we're thinking some guy in the crowd running around, not a sniper from up top. Ryan Kawamoto works with 97.5, the country music station in Honolulu. He attended the concert Sunday night. The, the main artist, um, the headliner, Jason Aldean, was performing. And like everybody else, uh, heard like a couple pops going off while he was performing. Uh, from where, where we were at, it sounded like fireworks, just like what everybody else did. And then there was a second set of uh, popping sounds, which was very rapid and then the music stopped and you could hear the the shots going off and then at that point uh, you knew it was gunshot. Like thousands of others, Kawamoto ran to get away from the gunshots. He ran to the nearby Tropicana. Just r racing, just trying to, you know, get out of there and get to safety and so that's what we thought when we got into the Tropicana and then, you know, you hear people uh, yelling and screaming that there's a there's a active shooter in the building and then the alarm went off and so uh just a bunch of people running through through the casino trying to get out and um, it, it was really scary also happening at the time was the pure aloha festival a concert featuring many artists from hawaii among them was mahi crab i was shocked i i was honestly my heart dropped and just thought about all my family because that that could have been that could have been us that he was shooting at because the Pier Loja Festival that we were at, there's at least 10, 15,000 people. So honestly, I was in disbelief. I started tearing up real quick. I called my family immediately. I called everybody just to let them know that I was okay. And um, yeah, it's still, it's, it's still, it's still not really sitting too well with a, with a bunch of people in here in Vegas. But uh, the community is acting very well, uh, surprisingly. I'm not, and Mahi Crab said he was on his way to help victims with his pickup, but heard on the radio to stay away from the strip if you weren't already there. He says many friends are attending candlelight vigils in Las Vegas tonight. Alexander Zanes, KHON 2 News.